Cocaine and Cubans and American cash a Champagne and Heineken, Lebanese hash Souped up limos and Russian roulette Italian suits, leather coats, bowler hats Everything about me is in your face All you wanna do is come along for a taste just so long as you know where about is your place Got the bad ass headcase blues Every guy is married when I roll into town Until they see me laying my money down Every guy is hurrying all over the room I smell of wine, cheap and fine as their perfume Everything about me is in your face All you want to do is come along for a taste Just so long as you know where about is your place Got some badass headcase blues Welcome back to BuzzMoncton.com. Today we talk with an institution here in these parts when it comes to, you know, music and all things related. Mr. Kerry Beck is joining us on BuzzMoncton.com and it's been a long time coming, Kerry. Welcome aboard. <laughs> oh, thank you. The gravy train has finally stopped at your door. Good to be in the studio. Yeah, it feels <laughs> nice. Uh, so anyway, we want to talk to you about uh, a little bit about your music and uh, where it all comes from. And uh, we understand that you have a little bit of a, an original songwriting thing going on too you get a few of those yeah uh, that's well that's one thing there the songwriting thing I, I haven't been too good about it there the All last right. little while there it's a uh, I constantly find myself having to retrain bands you know what I mean you start a band and buddy says okay I'm moving to Alberta and then you're like okay well then I'm gonna start another band so then you have to go through that and then you know getting people together and so it, it just seems like the it's hard to make time and you're all constantly you can only do so much right yeah and I'm incredibly lazy, so uh, the uh, the songwriting thing, yeah, I, I, you know, I got I, I got enough to get through like an album there kind of thing, but uh, uh, okay. lately they've been a little slow. I think the last one I wrote was Beer in This Place, you know, I, I probably won't use that one, so <laughs> <laughs> just doing it to write something, you know. That's kind of a, that would be a parody, I think, on a... Oh, yeah. On an old tourism <laughs> campaign, like that, maybe, yeah. maybe, maybe. Uh, but you're uh, very passionate about the music that you do bring, and you're so good at it. You you bring alive the rockabilly sounds. You have done the crooners uh, in the past. Mm -hmm. You've performed on so many different stages. I mean, from right. the three seaters to the three thousand. It's <laughs> it's such a varied career. Where do you where do you get the inspiration? Yeah. What keeps you going? Uh, where, what keeps me going? I don't know. It, it's like, I think it's because you don't get any worse over time. Like you, you constantly see these improvements and these little plateaus and benchmarks and you know, that's what the thrill is okay. really. You know what I mean? You're thinking, ah, I don't know if I'll ever be able to play that way and try. And then a couple of years later, all of a sudden you're doing it and it's, it's exciting, you know, like it's, it's, it's a craft, you know, so. What's the sound, what's with the sound of cash and all of these greats that you tend to, you know, play and still perform to the best of your ability, which uh, is top notch. You bring this sound alive and, and what's still, the, what's the staying power there? Uh, the cash. I, I know when I was younger, uh, well, like cash it's, and others. Like, yeah. Like that was like a, when I was a teenager, um, I was doing stuff like that, Elvis, um, you know, rockabilly, uh, for an older audience, right? And it was mostly like trade shows and like dinner theaters and, and things like that. So it was kind of more of a performing, uh, you know, entertainment thing. And I, I kind of kept it up because, you know, it, it does get you work and that kind of thing. But uh, now I find it's gone full circle. Like I'm the old geezer now that's doing the tunes and the, the young people are dinging it. So, uh, you know, like I got a... You know, the show coming up at the Nationals there in July, uh, the big car show. You're and, opening for and, Kim Mitchell. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess so. We'll, we'll just say that. that. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I think that's because I'm doing those uh, type of tunes. Uh, I think people like, you know, Motorheads and whatnot, like they, 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 they like that kind of style of music. And it, and it does have a, a cross... Uh, uh, broad appeal to uh, different age groups and that's so. right. Yeah, and the Nationals, of course, would be looking for that kind of a performance. Have you yeah. worked with them before? I've done a few. Yeah, yeah it's fun. Uh, I, 
I don't know. I was going to tell a story, but I'm going to keep that one to myself. <laughs> you can edit that part out. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah. uh, no, I, I did a few. Uh, I, I think this will be like my third one, if I'm not okay. mistaken. I didn't do it last year. I, I don't know. Yeah. I was out, out, of, out of fashion last year or something. So, so many road stories. Ever consider writing a book? Like a memoir? <laughs> You know, the guy from the Rio Statics did pretty well with his. I, it's funny. I, I actually had a, a writer that was wanted to write a, a book about me at, at one point uh, a few years back, because um, uh, I was always at his bar and I was always just telling stories from, you know. But for me, you can't think about it unless it's something that pops up. It's like a joke, you know. Someone says banana, and you think you're banana joke. You know what I mean? So it's. Uh, uh, to sit down with a with a, a typewriter, uh, yeah. I don't know if uh, that, that's uh, in my immediate future, but well, uh, I do have yeah, I do have a little bit. Of I mean, you could miles there. Yeah. <laughs> you got that you know, pretty nice following here in the Maritimes, and they would like to dig into those stories. <laughs> oh. I'm thinking. Yeah, you know, uh, but you, you could tell you talk your story. Somebody could write it for you. That's been done before. Yeah, I planted myself too in the Maritimes. I mean, uh, I was away for sure, but um, I've spent a lot of time here, and uh, you know, you, you got to. Uh, in the Maritimes, you got to dig in, you know, dig in or, or, or go where the, where mm -hmm. the money is, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, it's one of those things I moved around a lot in, in my life and I could see times where like I was building up a momentum with something and then I just leave it and go somewhere. And then when you come back, you got to pick it up all over again. Right. So that's one thing I think I've learned over time is like, sometimes you have to kind of you know, you yeah. gotta sit tight and, you know, work, just get, get a crowd going and yeah. It's a consistency factor. Mm -hmm, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, your level of popularity has not waned in the many years that you've been doing this, which is almost as long as, well, I don't want to speculate, but <laughs> well, <yes. laughs> as long as I've been involved in media, let's put it that way. You've always been around, man. Uh, geez, yeah. yeah uh, you started young. I did. Um, uh, and my parents were, were musicians, and, and my uncles and, and my grandparents oh, so you and come stuff. By it. It's in the genes. Yeah, they, they were kind of, yeah, yeah. Uh, but... Um, uh, so, I, you know, I, I wasn't ever intimidated by it, you know what I mean? I, I've seen them pay their dues and, you know, some months were poor and some mm. months were good and mm. it just never scared me, you know, so, because yeah, yeah. it's not easy, yeah. you know, uh, <clears throat> but um, no, uh, and it, it's just one of those things there, I, you know, I, I, I'm, I just always come up with new ideas and then I, I pursue them and then I think, oh, what am I doing? I should get a job. And then it's but like, oh, I think I like the banjo. <laughs> I'm going to do that for a little while, you know? So it, it's, there's it always chooses. something to keep you if you're into it. It sounds know? like it chooses you. This, this really chose you as a vocation, if I can use that uh, large word. Yeah, well, uh, maybe, it's, uh, maybe um, not so much a vocation, I think, as uh, just something to uh, apply yourself towards to just keep yourself sane, you know, <laughs> like it's just yeah. something to keep your mind on, uh, you know, it's art. That's well, and thanks to your good work, there are thousands of people here in the Maritimes that have been able to keep their sanity, I think, because uh, they, they <laughs> yeah. can come see Carrie Beck every once in a while and lose themselves in, in another era. Oh, I know the wedding playlist there. I, <laughs> I, I know all the Mustang <laughs> Sallies and, you know, those are the ones that uh, get, them going. get the memories going. Yeah, there, yeah. Yeah. Well, Kerry, thanks a lot. Man, hey, no problem. This. this is great. Thank thanks. you. And the tune you're playing for us, too. Thanks a lot for that. Oh, yeah. We'll look forward to seeing you this summer. Going to be a busy dude. A lot of festivals and places. It's going to be busy, yeah. It's, uh, hopefully not too busy there. I wouldn't mind going to the beach once or twice, too. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but, uh, can. yeah, well, that's it. You know what I mean? Like vitamin D, you know. <laughs> so. Kerry Beck on buzzmonkton.com. I'm Kerry. Thanks a lot for hanging with us. And come back again soon. We'll see you then. We lay my money down Every gal is hurrying all over the room Smell the wine, cheap and fine as their perfume Gaining Cubans and American cash A champagne and Heineken and Lebanese hash A souped up a limos and Russian roulette you ain't seen nothing